Hey guys, I am back with another video. I know it's been a while since I've done two videos in one week, or at least it feels like a while, but I'm excited to be back with another one. Um, this video is going to be one that I try tried to film before, but I wasn't really happy with how it turned out. I think my camera died halfway through and I had to switch to my phone and then I had troubles, you know, uploading it or whatever. So I'm just going to refilm it. Um, and a couple things have changed since I filmed that one. So I'm excited that I'm refilming it. I just want to take you through the two planners that I use. Um, as well as letting you know about my new cover that I got. So I'm going to set that aside for right now. I'll just give you the basics of which planners I use. So I'm using Happy Planners right now. This one is a Make Your Own Magic um, mini Happy Planner. And inside I have just a sticky note, like dashboard, I think it's what that's called. So it just has a bunch of sticky notes on it. And they're like really sticky too. Like the stickiness starts pretty, um, you know, low on the sticky note and then i have the little like i don't even know what this is called i should really know the names of these things but it's like a clear like protector sheet that has little um slots in it so you can put pictures in there and stuff i just have the ones that came with it and i really want to put my own in here but i just don't really know what to put so that's what i have so far and then the welcome page I'm not going to go through the whole planner, but I'll just show you kind of what I've added to it and how I'm using it. Um, so, let's see. The month or the yearly view, I haven't really used it yet at all, and I really don't know what I would use it for. I'll show you what I use it for in my big happy planner. And then um, I did mark that my, my dad's birthday is here, and then my monthly goal this month is to kick ass in school. <laughs> Um, let's see. I really like the like monthly um, sheets for this planner. It's not as neutral as my other planner, but I don't mind that at all. It's more like pink and girly, and I think it's really cute. There's lots of florals in it too, which I love. Um, for the monthly, I did have a planner Kate like personal size um, planner kit that I added that I accidentally purchased from Planner Kate, and so I used it on July just because I had it basically. But as you can see, I really don't decorate my mini planner. Like, I just don't have money to buy kits for two planners. So how I do it in my happy planner, or my mini planner, is I just write things down. And I try and use, like, a color-coded system. Um, if you can see, I did make a little key that says, you know, which color the different categories are supposed to be. Um, so I'm supposed to write things for my different classes in different colors and work and social events and stuff like that. But sometimes I don't. So like training on this day, training on this day was supposed to be written in purple, but I didn't have a purple pen on me. So I just wrote it in regular pen, which I don't really feel like I need to have the different colors. I just thought it'd be pretty. Maybe in the future I will use more stickers, but for me, this is just like purely functional. Like I'm just trying to have a, a little version of my calendar that I can have on the go. Um, so I don't forget things. So if someone asks me if there's an event, if I can come to something, then I'll flip to the page. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, like this week. What do you have going on on Friday or can you do something on Friday? Well, Friday is really busy for me. I have two homework assignments due. I have to finish work early because I'm bartending. I'm in a nearby city and I'm also house sitting and all that kind of stuff. So just keeps me um, on track with what I have going on. And this one did come with, um, I think, small gold rings, the little mini rings. And I did put this planner on um, classic size rings. And I just like that better. So this is the big size happy planner that I use. Um, it is the Happiness Blues from Within, which is their um, neutral planner. And I just recently got gold metal rings for it because I knew I wanted to change the cover. I don't think gold goes well with this one because it's got the silver border, but I like the cover. I just want something more unique and something a little bit more neutral. Um, I think I've seen this all over the place. Um, I've seen really cute covers on Etsy that I really wanted to get, but it takes a while to get things in from Etsy and I'm kind of impatient. Um, and I just want something neutral. Um, I get sick of like sayings and stuff pretty easily. So I picked up from Staples. Let's see. I saw another YouTuber um, posted a video of this cover on her um, Happiness Blooms From Within planner, which I thought it was awesome that we had the same planner. 
and I loved this cover. It's just so neutral. I think it'll go great with the gold rings. I like how it's got the little band. Um, I know Happy Planner makes covers like this, but they're all in like crazy colors. At least I've, the ones that I've seen. There's like bright pink, bright blue, and I just don't want that in my life. But this is the Martha Stewart. I don't think there's like a name for it. It's $25 at um, Staples, and it is just the Martha Stewart. I think it's like a notebook or something like this found notebook. And it comes with a clear folder, which I really like. And then some like basic pages. The pages are nice quality, but you can see the page behind it through the paper, which I don't like. Let me see if I can show you guys. That. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see like what's written on the page below. I'm not gonna use this, so let me like write something. I feel like you can see that. I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm not really going to use this stuff. What I am interested in, oh, that's cool. It has a ruler and like con conversions and stuff. It's very Martha Stewart stuff to have in here. Zodiac signs. It's kind of cool. Um, let's see. What I am interested in is the notebook um, paper that comes in it. It comes with a bunch and I'll probably use all that, but I'm really in it for the cover itself. And it's got a little pen holder, but I did buy an additional one. Just this Martha Stewart pen holder. I do like these pens that I got for my birthday. They are Sippa. Let me see. I have a package right here. These um, fine line drawing pens. I like those. Um, when I go through my planner, you'll see that I've been trying to incorporate more um, lettering in my weekly spreads. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to put this cover on my happy planner. And this thing is sturdy. I don't know how the covers are that are by Mambi, but this thing, I'm impressed. Let's try and take this off without breaking it. I'm scared. Ooh. Oh gosh, this thing takes some force to come off. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Oh gosh. It was making noises that I didn't like. <laughs> okay. Let's take off this cover. see here the little Martha Stewart um, like embossing which is really cute Oop, okay this goes like that and I'm just going to take this cover oh, I have some YouTube I YouTube video ideas here oh gosh whoops um okay so now I can tell you guys, I guess, um, I'm going to film a video soon about my frugal skincare routine. Um, I've been using the same skincare routine for the last like year, and I seriously have not had to rebuy some of these products, which is weird. They're probably expired by now, so I should rebuy them. And I did rebuy some of them because I'm gonna have a giveaway with that video. Um, we are quickly approaching 500 subscribers. So I wanted to do another video for you guys, or another giveaway. So on my frugal skincare routine, I will have a giveaway with that um, video. And it'll end as soon as we hit 500 subscribers. So I think I should get that up soon. And I wanted to give away, um, not the entire like regimen that I use, because some of the things it's hard to find a small enough quantity to ship it. Um, but I'll give away at least like, you know, the basics of the regimen that I use. So hopefully you guys will like that video. I don't know if the skincare routine will work for everyone, but it has worked really good for me. And it's been the cheapest routine that I've ever tried. <laughs> I've tried so many different skincare products. It is crazy. Okay, gosh. This thing is hard to get on, but it's not going anywhere. Like, whew, sturdy. Okay. That is thick. 
I like it though. Like I feel like it's protected. With this and the metal rings, I feel like I could take it with me and not worry about it being damaged. And I like how it has a little like, I don't know what this is called. It's like a band to close it. I love that. Just looks so much more like Classy is the right word. And it's not as white as it's coming off in camera. Let me try and make it darker. Oh. That's kind of more true to color. Sorry about the light. Um, it's more like a cream color and I think it goes really well with the gold rings. And I think it would go well with rose gold and it would go well with silver. So very versatile. So it does kind of, this little thing when you open it, the little band, does kind of get stuck on your months. That's kind of annoying. But if you are careful and put it in the back, you shouldn't have a problem. So I just have this here to kind of remind me of videos. Um, but here you can throw whatever you want, sticker sheets. Um, you can put cards in here. I don't know what I'll use this stuff for, but it's really cool to have. Then you have your little greeting um, page. So I just want to show you the things that I've kind of like added to this planner. Um, this key is my year, this is my year at a glance and I have a key for it. Um, so I used the transparent, focus. Okay, so I used the transparent mini dots from Planner Kate and um, did a, a different one for uh, my different semesters at school as well as like um, work related stuff like sick days, PTO, and um, paid holidays. So just to keep track of that kind of stuff. I don't think I marked my sick day. Let's do that. I keep these in my budget section because I use them mostly for budgets. Let's see, okay, it's this color for sick day. And it was, let's see, it's July. It was a 27th that I took a sick day it was more of a mental health day I did homework the entire day but I have sick hours so I wanted to use them I was extremely overwhelmed that day I didn't get to study the day before so I used a sick day and just caught up, caught up on schoolwork so I felt, I felt like this key was so cute I just made it with um, a piece of scrapbook paper I put my little like I put my little piece of paper on it that I put all the stickers on and wrote on and then I just laminated it and punched it out with my little punch that I have. I know you're not supposed to punch um, like laminated paper with that thing and I've had it jam up on me a couple times but you just kind of perform surgery on it and it's fine. Okay sorry about that I shut my window so I wouldn't have that weird light right here. So that is my year at a glance. I marked, you know, when summer semester starts, summer semester ends, fall semester starts, fall semester ends, holidays, everything like that. So it's just a nice, like, at a glance look. I haven't really used this page. I think it's pretty, but I don't know. I just don't really use, like, I put birthdays on the month, and maybe I'll use this at some point, but who knows. This is my monthly view, and what I like to do is I punch holes in my kit that I'm using and I keep it in the planner. So that way I don't have to go looking for my stickers. So I don't know if you guys like that idea, but I thought of it and I was just like, works for me. So these, this is the kit. It is kit 77D from Planner Kate. Um, and then it has like a corresponding monthly. Um, I think this is a weekly kit. I didn't know what I was doing when I first started ordering with Planner Kate. But I have a whole bunch of more labels on here. I just haven't really been... I haven't used the monthly for a ton of stuff. Like mostly bills, big events, um, holidays, things like that. But that is my monthly view. Ooh, let's punch this right back in. I did notice if I have too many weeks in here, it'll like create a crease in this paper. Like what I'm writing especially. So I only try and keep like the monthly in the current week I'm on or else it'll mess up the pages. So as you can see, I created a little bookmark that says this week. So I can see, I can flip to um, exactly which page or which week I'm on. Ooh, there's a hair. 
gross. Okay. I am going to take this out because it has all the details for the video that I'm making. Um, and that's just one of those um, like hourly sheets, hourly half sheets um, from Happy Planner that I just didn't, I just use it as a scrap paper. Um, so this is like, let's show you actually what last week looked like. So these are pretty typical for my weekly spreads. Um, as you can see, like this week was a little bit, or this part of the week was a little bit bare. Um, I wrote here, <laughs> planner fail today, because I just like didn't plan. Um, I was just busy, you know? It was the day before a holiday. I just worked, I did my stuff, I did my homework, and then I chilled. Um, and then I had um, a bunch of, I kind of use it as an hourly kind of, I'll mark off long periods of time where I didn't really do anything but this thing with some washi. Um, I marked there was no work today. I did add like little embellishments. This is not, these stickers are not part of the kit from Planner Kate, but I like to add stuff like that. As you can see, I do like a busy looking planner. I'm trying to chill on that <laughs> um, because sometimes, you know, it just doesn't happen and that's totally fine. But I do like the look of it and I added a lot more of my own lettering this week. So like this, clean your room girl, game night, um, let's see heat waves and fires <laughs> like California was on fire that day basically date day like that's all my own writing but these stickers are not relax dream it do it think happy be happy those are all from um these little let's see these sticker books which I have a bunch of these and I love them um this one I got for my birthday from my boyfriend's parents and this one I got from my boyfriend. They speak my love language. <laughs> my love language is planner stickers. But I'm keeping track of how many weeks until like the end of the semester. I don't know if you can see that. It says four weeks until finals. That was last week. So now it's three weeks until finals. And um, I am keeping track of how many subscribers I have from week to week. So, whoop. Right down here, like on Sunday night, as late as I as late as possible, I put how many subscribers I'm at. And that's like what I set up for the week. Just so I can see what the progress is. So we went from 271 to 337 um, in one week. And I think today we're even at like 380 something. So you guys are awesome. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, and so basically this week I'm using washi again as like a time period. Um, marker because I'm just working during this time um, I do put like when I have bills due important things like I'm supposed to house sit um, tomorrow which I kind of forgot about that so I'm glad I'm re reviewing this oh I didn't write in here so I kind of like to put like you know what I did that night down here so I kind of use it as an hourly morning stuff goes at the top Evening stuff goes at the bottom. Some people do like to-do lists, to clean, homework, like they break up their stuff by that. But I like to do it kind of like an hourly. We watched... Never. Dale. I'll make it cute really quickly. I'll speed this up for you guys. So um, that's what I mean by I'm trying to add like more of my own lettering and stuff. Um, this little label, oh, focus. That says, um, hanging with my handsome man. I wrote that part and then um, the part that says Riverdale obviously. And if you guys ever want me to make like videos on lettering, this is just a basic like regular, it's just like a basic regular tip pen but you can still use it to make like that fancy lettering. So if you guys ever want to see, oh, come on, if you guys ever want to see stuff like that, see how I do that, I will happily make a video for that so just leave a comment. Um, I am struggling using these, I just... I usually put my daily to-dos on the each, each day. But what I have noticed is I'll put like a to-do on a day and it doesn't get done that day and then I don't really know what to do. So I should start putting things that don't really have a time, like a day that have, they have to be done by, like laundry. I should put that over here, which I try to do. 
this last week, I put actually use this thing as one of my to-dos, which I did. I accomplished almost all of my goals, which is great. So that is how I've been using this so far. Um, I did kind of already make a video about, let me show you. So I have two sections up here. There's a budgeting section and a school section. I made these by myself, which is why they're not perfect. You can't see the whole thing, but I'll flip to this. So this is a monthly extension pack, which if you, um, I made a separate video about this, my whole budget setup, and I, um, I made this little divider. Let me show you. I made this divider that's this color on this side. It's got a pocket in it so I can keep the stickers that I use in here. Ooh, get in there. It's, it's a tight squeeze. Um, and then this is just where I track my expenses and my budgeting stuff. So if you guys want to see that video, I will link it below. Um, but honestly, I don't really feel like most of the stuff is that necessary. So I might just use the the note pages that came with this and just do it the old fashioned way, like in a notebook, not using these extension packs, but we will see. Um, and then I do have my little debt free like plan. So I have each day that I get paid and the amount that I want to put towards my debt. I'm just a visual person. I like to see that stuff. Um, this is laminated. It's two sheets of like scrap of paper together. Um, August I haven't started that yet obviously and then this is my school tab which I might take out because I don't really use it um, and here I just have my syllabus for my first class a little like dashboard type thing and my second class so just to have as like a reference but in the beginning of the semester I write down all of like the dates for assignments and stuff so I don't really need that in there it's kind of just taking up space but I do like the divider so maybe I'll find a use for the um, school divider at some point. Um, I will note that like the metal rings do make it a little bit harder to turn the pages, but it's not that bad. Like, see, that wasn't hard and that was a big chunk. You just have to like work with it a little bit more. So that is my new planner set up and you can, oh, let me put in the little sticker for the um, pen thing really quickly. Let's see, I've never used a cover for this planner. I'm really excited. I don't think this one would fall out. Well, no, it totally will. That's fine. I'll just leave it in there for demonstration purposes. And then that should be fine too. Let's see. I'm just gonna put this over here so you guys don't have a spoiler of what videos I'm planning on making. So this is just the disc bound pen holder from Martha Stewart. And it's like the same color almost as the planner. Oh, I don't like, I'm going to have it on this side. Like the lady that I saw, I think her name is at home with Kita. I might've butchered that, but she had a little, um, like a little flag. It was really cute. Um, pen holder on this side. And then when you close this, there's just like two pens next to each other. Hmm. Let's see. I want to make sure that's not going to be like too thick. I don't know if this is the pen that I'm going to use, but just for demonstration purposes. I don't really like how that sticks out. Does that look dumb, you guys? I feel like it does. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm just gonna... Okay. I'm gonna leave this out for now. I'll figure out what to do with it, but I don't like how it sticks out. I want it to just kind of go like that. Does that make sense? So I'll figure it out, but I like how there's at least one right here. So that is the video for you guys um, of my planner walkthrough and my new cover. So I hope you guys liked seeing all of that. 
Um, let me know if you are excited for the giveaway that I'm planning on doing um, with the one, or sorry, 500 subscribers. I can't believe that just a couple weeks ago we were doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.